Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to everyone's favorite little mining game. We are back out in Hydraneer, but it is not about mining anymore because I'm bored of mining. I'm going to go be a farmer. Bye. Actually, before I leave, I should probably grab some um, gold here because we actually are going to need some money because, yes, a new update has come out, and farming is now a thing in this game. There's also cooking. I'm super excited for it, uh, but, yeah, I'm going to need a little bit of money for that, so let's uh, make something out of this. Also, I did notice that my gem crushers no longer seem to crush gems i don't know where the button is to crush these things anymore it might be logic based now uh so yeah i have a, a few gems too many which is actually lagging the game i should probably turn this system off i think i will do that all right thank you you've earned me enough money you can stop doing things now ah look at that frame rate all right, I found a somewhat big onyx, so uh, I really wish I could crush these because it's probably going to make these worth so much more. But I mean, I don't think we're going to need a lot of money. I do know there's some new vehicles, though, so we might need more than I thought. Anyways, is this? This is iron. We're going to make a simple ring here and blammo. Look at that. Oh, wow. Did they update the model? It's smaller. That or there wasn't much gold in that. Okay, then we'll make a dagger with my probably a crap load of iron. And I hope these should be worth a bit. I don't know how long my system's been running, so it's going to be a surprise to see how much these things are worth. Uh, excuse me, who the hell are you? Mind me, I'm just mooching about. Okay, so yes, there is now people in this game. Gotta be honest, kind of mad about that. It, it, it was peaceful in these lands when it, when it was just me. Uh, but yeah, there's supposed to be a bunch of quests we can do and whatnot, so... Kind of excited to see all those people. Oh my god, there's so many things I need to do in this game. I should probably deal with this, but you know what? I'm just gonna ignore it. All right, here we go. We can sell things to the jeweler. And oh my, 75,000? Sorry, that's seven, is that 700,000? How did I have that much? And there we, I, I, I don't even, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousand. So yeah, two million. I think we'll do a, two million? Have I had that running for that long? I mean, I forgot the last time I checked that. Cause I think the last episode I did, I made the, um, the automated fishery right here. Then again, I thought I did a, an, another episode as well. Regardless, we got lots of money. So I don't think we're gonna have to worry about money today. Plus, plus I probably have a bunch of money about. It is so weird seeing people. Hello. You want six tomatoes and a bowl. And I get 20. Is that 21 gold? Oh, no, that's 21. Okay, so yeah, I don't know much about the quest systems, but uh, we're kind of learning as we go here. I thought we would just go around and look for any of the new things we can use. Ah, so yes, they updated the gem compressor to be logic based. So I'm going to have to edit my system a bit if I do want to compress my gems, which I obviously do. We'll worry about that later, though. Ah, but this is what I'm talking about. The vehicles, we actually have something different now. We have a hydro roller uh, for flattening ground, which is fantastic because flattening ground in this game was something that should have happened early on. Thanks Very frustrating. Uh, we also have a quad, 680. I think I can afford it. Let's, let's at least buy that for right now. <laughs> I can't believe how much money I got. Can I put something on the back of here? Is that safe? Oh, hell yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. Look at me driving in style. We'll buy the roller later. I'm just gonna explore first. Oh, wow, this thing's got decent movement, too. Is this new? Oh, yeah, this is new. Uh, welcome to Grangefield. Oh, I think this is the farming stuff. All right, so we have a hydro cropper. Uh, we will definitely be buying that. I'm just looking around. Got goods if you got the cash. I got lots of cash. We can build greenhouses. I don't know if we'll be uh, we'll have a greenhouse or if we'll just do it outside. Okay, here we go. So we got plant pots, a portable pot for crops, vegetable basket, stores vegetables, seed box. Okay, and there's the seed. So everyone's asking me for tomatoes. There's what? There's no tomatoes. Oh, hold on. There is a lot of plants. Wait, there's is there tomatoes here? Please? Okay, maybe it's just asking for any sort of vegetable? Because I don't see tomatoes anywhere. I'm thinking... Do we just start out with the cheapest? Alright, well this is everything at least. What is this? Veg dicer hook? Chops vegetables when hooked onto a conveyor belt. Okay, so we can automate actually preparing meals, I guess. 
Oh, this is actually really cool. We, we can do sprinkler systems, which is obviously automated. I probably will try and do that. Oh, there's some more stuff over here. Wow, there is a lot to this. Okay, so now we have the stove, soup bowls, cooking pots, seed mills. Crushes vegetables to create seed bags depending on the vegetable size. Okay, so you can... Wait, does that mean you can turn vegetables back into seeds? That's pretty cool. Sickle, trowel, carrot, tomato! Wait, why are you not... Okay, that's a little confusing. Hello. I think I'm going to start buying things now. I just, I have to bring something over here to transfer them. Also, I don't know where I'm going to put a garden. I think right beside this, we actually have a zone that I haven't touched on this build. So yeah, maybe we'll make this my garden. Oh my God. Why is the ground so insane though? It used to never be this crazy. So this is 6,000 to buy. I wonder if that flattener will be able to flatten a mound like that. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's by doing it. So, right mouse button lowers. Oh, that raised it. Okay, so I guess it was already lowered. I just didn't have that ground. I didn't own that ground, so it didn't matter. But, let's see. <laughs> okay, it's a bit, a bit hilly. All right, well, there was two big mounds that I obviously can't simply just flatten with this thing. They're just too big to deal with. But I got a lot of flat ground over by the water, which is what I wanted. Uh, that's where I'm going to put my garden anyways, because I'm going to hopefully have a sprinkler system. And uh, the less piping we need, obviously, the better. All right, so I bought the harvester. It does say that this is this harvest, but also plants. So I want to see if I can simply just plant right away. Uh, it's looking like I'm gonna have to put obviously seeds in this thing. Let's see. Oh god, that is so cool. I love these machines. Um, I wonder, is that where you put the seeds? Or maybe in the back here? No, this is the, obviously the water reservoir. So I'm thinking maybe you drop seeds in the back. Right mouse and lowers and raises equipment. E to eject resources. Alright, so maybe I need to plant them manually first and then it will automatically plant afterwards? I'm going to go buy some seeds and see if I can put them in here somehow. Okay, so yeah, it does have the seeds on the back of the thing. Do I just do I just literally drop them in there, I wonder? If so, that's so freaking cool. Well, let's see what happens. Am I... Am I... I don't think that's how you do it. Okay, so I can just simply put holes here. Do I just do this? Is this the one way to do it? There has to be a vehicle for this or something. Something better than a simple trowel. All right, so this is simply a test run. Now, if I run over that with this, does that mean it works? Oh, yes. Oh, it did like three. Was that all my... That was all my freaking seed packs? Oh, okay. We're going to need a lot of seed packs. That or I'm not supposed to go this crazy with plantations. But look at that. I did it. I can farm. <laughs> Four total. So it's one seed per freaking pack? Yep, okay, so it is one seed indeed per pack. So I'm thinking you probably don't want too many plants then. What the hell is that? Oh, that's how you offload. Okay. Oh, I love this thing though. So I'm going to be able to harvest and replant right away, assuming I have enough seeds. So we'll go buy a bunch of seeds. Uh, actually, before that though, I should set up my watering system because these things are not being watered. So I need to go get a crap load of pipes. All right, first things first, being that we have a lot of vehicles, I made a very basic refueling station, so I don't have to worry about water. I'll obviously add more to this later, but for right now, I want to make sure we're figuring out... Oh, speak of the devil, look at these little guys. Even without water, you're growing. I hope you don't actually die. Uh, needed a lot more pipes than I expected, but we should be able to get over there sooner or later. Now, I think I need this in the air, which is why I'm so high up right now, because obviously it's spraying downwards, so... Uh, the higher we are, probably the better anyways. All right, and like 100 pipes later, and we are almost there. Now, I want to see how far this sprinkler goes. The more pressure the pipes have, the more powerful it is. I do know that, but I just want to see how it works here. Oh, we are direct hitting this guy right here. So you can see it looks like the soil turns a little bit darker when it is wet, so good to know. Oh, one thing I didn't think about. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this too high? This is a really tall machine. I think I'm going to have to go higher. Damn it! Hold on. It could be tight. It could be... Yep. It's like one. My freaking luck. That means I have to get rid of all these pipes and go up one, maybe two to play it safe. All right. Now we definitely don't have to worry about clearance. Perfect. Okay. Now where is my sprinkler? I want to see how far this thing spreads even without a powered pipe. 
Okay, I found it. I also forgot I could fly in this game, so I should probably do that. Oh, wow. Look at how much the uh, water helped this one plant that actually got hit. All right, so we want to put this... Does this go up top? I mean, I guess that works. Is this... I don't even know if it's hitting the ground. Oh, no. Is there, like, a limit to how far the water goes? Oh, don't tell me what, what you're supposed to do is put it on the ground right beside them. Uh, because, yeah, these ones are definitely not getting watered. You'd see the dark. And I like this one. Oh, a tomato! Yay! My first tomato! <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I finally fixed the system. I actually spoke to the lead developer, Max, and uh, we figured out that it was a little too low. That is, um, how high you can have the sprinklers up. He actually raised it in the, uh, game files. So now it should be good. Uh, to actually water these things. I am seeing that some are not being watered, so we might just have to get more sprinklers or get an extra line here. Regardless, it's actually working, so that's good. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep an eye and continue to work on this pipe and see if we can get these few that are not being watered actually watered. Okay, and after a lot of pipe laying, I have two lanes now, so this should be more than enough for right now. Obviously, I can just continuously expand and add more lanes to this. Uh, hard to gauge how wide these things go, so I'm probably overwatering right now. I feel like I could have spread this out a little bit more, but uh, it's fine. We're kind of learning as we go. Uh, but yeah, I just plugged this so we can obviously expand out this way as much as we want. Now, the one thing is, um, I don't know how you like dictate what you want to be planted. I would love to fill this thing with multiple different types of seeds. But I think it just randomly plants things. So I don't really care right now. I'm just going to see what happens if I put both carrots and tomatoes in this. It will probably just randomly plant them. All right, but here we go. My first legit harvest. This is uh, kind of exciting. It's not going to be a huge harvest. Oh, that gets in the way of my camera. Slightly annoying, but that's fine. And look at the tomatoes going in the back. Oh, I love the small details. And this thing is planting... Did it plant everything already? Let's actually just go see on the ground. Yeah, so we have all these lanes planted. It looks like it plants pretty much every spot. And essentially what I'm going to do right now is just look at any one that is totally dry. And we'll just delete that. And then we know at least every hole that I can plant in is getting water. All right, as you can see, uh, it's actually going quite well. Um, it looks like the only one that is screwed up is the one at the start. So I'm going to vanish that. Looks like we get the seed back. So how nice of them. Thank you. But yeah, everything else is fantastic. So that makes me feel good. Aside from this one, of course, as well. So yeah, we'll just delete these as we go. Um, now the next thing, obviously, I need to figure out a way to get seeds. So I've been kind of working on that as I've been waiting for these things to grow. I want to do something with this thing. Now, I want to see how it works first. I believe, I'm assuming one tomato equals one seed, possibly. Let's find out. It says, depending on size of the fruit. So yeah, it looks like one came out. I actually don't know because the packages are all the same. So let's just try and plant this and make sure it's only one because you can stack them. Yeah, so obviously we can rapidly get way more seeds because it looks like every plant gets, you know, three or so tomatoes i actually am curious okay there is multiple carrots in there as well okay so really cool next thing i want to figure out is the best way to deal with seeds obviously i don't want to move one seed pack at a time so it looks like i can pour with this there's two options to hold seed bags the um basket or this seed box now this can be oh interesting this can be placed I wonder what that would be used for, honestly. I don't know. I feel like this would be a better option. I should be able to just pour it into the back of the harvester. I hope it's as easy as, easy as just doing that. So what we're going to do simply is just put this at the end. I might need to lower the ground a bit or raise this up. All right, next up, I want to do a conveyor system. Now, let's just see. It doesn't look... I don't think this is going to work. So if we drop something on there, is it going to... Oh, that's actually concerning, considering it might just make the vegetables not fit all together. Now, obviously, we could just drop it like that, but I want to automate this. I think, honestly, the best bet, I was hoping to use a conveyor system, but this drops it directly downwards. So it might just be the smartest to just drop it directly in there instead of trying to build a complex conveyor system. Because obviously, I could raise the conveyors, but if I aim this right, I mean, this shouldn't be too hard to just drop off either. So... I may as well not make this more complex than it needs to be. Let's go harvest and see if this even works. 
Okay, yeah, this is this is gonna need some work. The carrots are ruining everything, and of course, all the tomatoes pop out now. But there is my full harvest. I think I'm gonna try and use funnels to refine this a bit. I might need to do like a gravity fed system as well. All right, so that not the so smooth. I am gonna fix this system. I need to obviously grow more vegetables to try it out though. So I'm really hoping this is as easy as just dropping it in here. Oh my God. Oh my God, okay. Okay, so seeds are gonna be the death of me, I feel like, because unfortunately, sometimes they delete them, sometimes they don't. I got probably a lot of them in here. I don't know how I could possibly automate this though. This might just be something I have to deal with. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought. There was maybe five or six on the ground, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so let's go back and just plant all these things. There we go. Looks like we're harvesting a bit too. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm hoping to do this whole row. Unfortunately, we don't have en enough for that just yet, but this seed thing is great. All right, seed creator mark two. Uh, I decided to put it in the ground and I just didn't want to build any higher up. I just want to see if gravity is all we need. That one looks to be a direct hit now. I'm curious how the carrots are going to react. We still have to wait for those to grow. I also have a centralizer hook. We should probably throw that on the end here. Just so we get an accurate shot in there. So yeah, we'll just put the basket inside this. That should be good. And hopefully now I have automated seeds to the best that I can. All right, I keep forgetting I have these tomatoes. So we, we may as well try with these. Whoops, meant to grab the whole basket. Uh, tomatoes are easy though. So I'm not too worried about these guys. There we go. And... <laughs> <laughs> so this works fantastically with only tomatoes, but again, I want this thing to be set up for everything because uh, we're going to get to that point anyway sooner or later. All right, so about half the harvest is done, so I, I'm gonna, just going to try this. I'm really excited to see if this is going to work or not, but here we go. The harvest has been plentiful. Look at the back. Look. <laughs> Imagine doing this manually. That would be insane. Okay, it doesn't look like it destroys anything that hasn't been fully grown. So that's good to know. I can harvest whenever the hell I want. All right, now for the fun part. Have I fixed the carrots? I just realized this guy's standing up. There's not even a seat on this thing. That would be very un uncomfortable. There we go. Is it going to work? <laughs> it's carrots. <laughs> I put a funnel on there to try and help. That might have actually screwed it up. So let's pull that off. And, well, we'll just fix all the carrots. Oh, great. Okay. All right, so yeah, we'll try without a funnel. That might be what it needs, but honestly, it may just not work with carrots, and on it, and I don't really know of another way to fix this. I thought the extra drop would straighten them as they fall. Clearly, that is not enough, so hopefully... It does look like the, the sorter sometimes stacks them right in the middle. I mean, this is going much better, actually, without the funnel. I'm gonna back this up a little bit. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. Okay. Maybe that was my issue. Look at this. I think I've missed like two or three carrots. And then every now and then they stack up. So that's when I'm just going to have to stop and manually unclog it. All right. But there we go. We only missed one seed packet. So aside from my carrot issue, this is actually really great. And it probably would be great for most other vegetables. Because not many are long and annoying like carrots. But we should have a crap load in there. I'll worry about the rest of that later. Freaking tomatoes were in there as well. So yeah, it's a little messy. It's not perfect. Also, I hate that. I might want to just put that pipe up above this one. For a first run, it seems to be doing okay. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here, guys. Now, obviously, we only did the farming today. What I truly want to do uh, is set up a, an automated factory for every type of vegetable. I think farming is enough for this episode. But yeah, in the next one, I would like to have some sort of automated system where I can simply drop off the vegetables on another conveyor belt and then have them separated and sorted to every type of vegetable you can possibly have. Because my fields won't be pretty and organized, uh, but hopefully I can organize it with the automation that's in this game. Also, we didn't even get into cooking today, so we will be doing that in the near future as well. But yeah, I think this is enough for this first episode. Uh, yeah, at least I'm making seeds now. I have more than enough, and I can always get more. I did my first two crops, and it's going well with my automated sprinkler system. We checked out the new vehicles, which are absolutely fantastic. It's nice to see some new ones in this game. Absolutely love the harvester. And yeah, in the next one, I think we'll get into cooking and hopefully starting to build some sort of automated sorting system. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.